Hello, my fellow hikers and bikers. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to import your own course or segment into organic maps. Now, before I begin, I just want to point out that in the previous video, I mentioned that organic maps doesn't quite support GPX files yet, and that still is true. They are working on adding that feature into future updates. I'm not quite sure when it's going to be released. However, it does support KML files. So if any of your exported courses or segments are in the GPX format, you're going to have to convert them using some online service. Now the service that I use that's completely free is gpx2kml.com. So that's gpx, the number two, kml.com. It's very easy to use. You just upload your GPX file and then have it convert to KML and then download the file either to your phone or to your computer, which you'll then have to transfer to your phone. So with that said, let's dive into actually importing the course. So first of all, you have to get the file onto your phone. Mine is already there. So I have this file explorer and I can see that I have a Mount Kearsarge Lincoln 8.1 mile KML file. That's the one we're going to import. So all I got to do is click on it or long press on it and select to open with organic maps. Now it should import into organic maps. If it fails, you'll get a little message at the bottom that says that it failed. But in this case, it looks like it went through fine. To double check, we'll be pressing the the bookmark button, which is the star, and it shows an 8.14 mile route. That is the one that we just imported. Now it's using the name of what was created on the GPX to KML website. So you can go in and rename this by pressing the three little dots off to the right and go to list settings. And as you can see, uh, the description area, it shows you that it was converted by using GPX to KML. You can delete all this if you want to or leave it. In my case, I'm going to leave it and I'm going to add or edit the name to Mount Kearsarge and then keep the rest of it there and press the little checkbox up to the top right. And there it is. There's our route. Now, there is a downside to this. Organic Maps doesn't have a robust bookmarking system yet. So that means that there's no way to move this into um, a folder called Roots or Courses. Right now, it just gets saved into a folder called whatever the file was originally called. So as you can see, if we click on the Mount Kearsarge folder, it shows you the root. And there's not a way, even long pressing on it, whoops, Going back, there's no way to long press or move it to something else. All we can do is click on it and it brings us to the course, which is fine. It just means that your bookmarks are could possibly get really cluttered if you choose to import a lot of courses. So in my case, if I have uh, a few few hikes planned, I will import the courses ahead of time and I will uncheck them so they don't show up on the map. And then when I do the hike, I will check it to make sure that it shows up on the map. I'll use it, and then when I'm done, I'll just press the three little dots and hit delete to remove it from the bookmarks. Unless I want to use this in the future, then I'll keep it. But yeah, clicking on the course will show you the actual course that you imported. And I suggest double checking to make sure that everything looks right. And it does. So the way this works is organic maps will only import the course and show you the outline. There's no way to actually um, navigate it. Instead, when you actually get to this location, like this is the parking lot, you'll see the typical compass, the directional compass that organic maps has. It shows you the direction that your phone is facing. That's what you'll use to navigate this. But the the actual navigation system that I showed in the previous video where I introduced the app, 
Uh, you won't be able to do that in this unless you like long press and do route from and then um, long press up here and do root two. It'll highlight your course and then you can do the, the start navigation if you wanted to do it that way. But I don't really think it's needed. It's completely up to you though. Um, so yeah, really straightforward. That's how you add in your course. Uh, again, if you wanted to hide this so it doesn't show up, you can go in, uncheck it, and then go back. And as you can see, the line is gone. So yeah, there you go. Very simple and to the point. If you guys have any questions or concerns or anything you want to see in a future video, please leave it in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I hope to see you in the next video.